Hello, beautiful friends. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I just want to firstly remind you, as always, you're doing amazing. And how do I know that? I just do. <laughs> I just know that because you're here. I know that because, you know, we're all going through some core identity shifts right now in this evolution of consciousness, the evolution of the body. And that is hardcore. It really is. So, you know, as always, give yourself so much love and compassion and credit. Of course, you're feeling how you're feeling. Um, you know, if you think about it, it's like think about whatever you're going through right now. And it probably makes total sense. You know, it's like there's so many things that I think it's part of the um, programming is like, you know, we just have been so abusive to ourselves and so judgmental of ourselves and always commenting on well, I shouldn't feel this way, I, you know, all of these thoughts, you know, that are just so harsh and judgmental and sometimes even torturous towards ourselves. And I think it's so, so, so important for us to be aware of those old tendencies and, you know, just start to see them with eyes wide open and not believe in them, not identify with them, not give our power away to them, but just see them, you know, see them for what they are. So just a few things I want to share that I've been realizing and seeing and thinking about. Um, I've been having a really, I've been feeling pretty amazing lately, I think for a few different reasons, but I've been doing like this, I'm on this, I've been intuitively guided to start this detox and I'll probably be share more, sharing more about that later. I just started, I'm only a few days in, just lots of fasting and eating just mainly when I do eat, it's mainly fruit and juice. Um, and I'm going to start doing this sort of cleanse thing with heavy metals and I'll talk more about that later, but only a few days in just the very beginning and, and I just am blown away by how much lighter I feel. I don't know. I just want to share that. I think it's important. Um, I'll share more about that later because the main point in this video, I just want to share more on the energetic level, although they of course go together, you know, the the energetics and the actual physical components, you know, and what I mean by physical components is just your health, what you're putting into your body, you know, the way that, um, metals and just toxins, parasites, um, and just dense foods when not taken, um, you know, I think they can just really clog the body. And I'm not someone who's super paranoid about this type of stuff. I don't come at it from that angle, but it's just the reality that, you know, these are things that get in us and it causes a lot of density, which can make it harder to think clearer. And it can affect your emotions. It can affect your neurological functions way more than I think we often realize. So again, something to think about. Um, I'll be sharing more about that later and what I'm doing, but... Speaking of emotions, that's what I want to talk about again today because I just think it's so important. Something I've been seeing in my world is, you know, I've talked about a lot in the last few videos of this thing I've been going through with radical acceptance, just radical acceptance of everything, um, you know, everything that's arising in the now moment, radical acceptance of it is what it is, and just letting go of this sort of... Um, trauma response of like resisting what is you know unless there actually is an emergency which there almost never is <laughs> you know in most of these cases it's just the ego it's just the fear it's just the trauma response um just being aware of that and i lost my train of thought so funny how that happens um but it always comes back. Yeah, emotions. Um, yeah, accepting it is what it is. So, so I've been on this journey of like radical acceptance of everything, 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 everything without condition, just accepting everything, which is, you know, all the things that are, all the things that have been, all the things that could be or will be. You know, just accepting it all, accepting all of my emotions, accepting all the things I don't like, accepting all the things I don't want to accept, um, you know, accepting every everything, everything that used to scare me 
or I used to think that should not be, it shouldn't be that way, then this shouldn't be happening, or I shouldn't feel this way, or I shouldn't have these beliefs, I shouldn't have these thoughts, all of this stuff, like all of this like energetic resistance, and even the resistance itself, accepting that, and not making that bad or wrong, but just accepting everything, um, deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper levels of just acceptance, you know, I think accepting the resistance piece is important because, you know, a lot of times even in, in this journey of acceptance, it's like, well, I shouldn't be resisting, accepting that too, you know, just accepting it all, and basically letting the God force within you be able to fully witness and devour everything, you know, it's kind of like, I think I've heard an old Buddhist proverb or something, or I don't know, of like, instead of looking at something and thinking, this is horrible, this is horrible, this is horrible, just look at it, just look at it, it's really weird, maybe subtle, but powerful difference in how your life will be when you start living this way and practicing this of not you know I think when we constantly comment and and feed the thoughts that are commenting on what is arising more than what just is it's like this is like a layer of almost illusion that we can get caught in and it actually it, it will actually um, in my experience block the energy from just moving when we're constantly commenting and getting stuck on things versus when we're just looking eyes wide open looking looking realizing who we are remembering who we are and letting that god force energy see everything for what it is be brave it takes courage and you're going to be amazed at what begins to shift and move for you when you let god just witness it's enough to first just witness everything without this need to comment on it and judge it and blah 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 all these thoughts doesn't really matter honestly all this stuff doesn't matter and the more so anyways really coming into this acceptance it's been such a profound experience it's brought me so much peace it's brought so much strength and resilience for me to be able to be in all kinds of situations and feel kind of like unfazed almost in a lot of the cases um and also knowing how to bring yourself back to neutral when you do start to fall into spiral into negativity um from all the chaos that's arising but anyways i'll talk more about that in a second so as i've been doing this practice it's just kind of i've been seeing more and more you know when you when, when you go into a practice like this it really humbles you it really shifts you into a new way of being that's so profound and strong and rooted and grounded in the present moment you know i think something my soul is pushing me is more and more is like all I need is the present moment, you know, and that's a bold statement, and I'm not saying I'm totally there yet, but more than I've ever been before, all I really need is the present moment to feel safe, to feel connected, to feel whole. It's like all these attachments to all these other things that I think I need is sort of um, just being burned away, and it's a process, but I guess what I want to share now is like, so having this experience and living in this way, it really shows me, um, you know, I can really see, I guess, in other people around me sometimes what happens when we resist what is. And it's interesting. And I don't want to, I'm not saying this like in a, a judgmental type of way, but I'm just saying it in an observatory kind of way. It's interesting. It's interesting how when you resist what is, I don't know, and maybe I'm just sharing this so you can kind of observe it in your own life. Um, when, you, when you really resist what is, you resist the resistance. People are resisting everything that's happening in this contracted trauma response state, state. I just feel like it causes so much more chaos. You know, even if it's like a chaotic thing that happens, you know, when you're not, when you're not able to fully just receive what is and, fl and be in that flow, which I think the first like pillar of that is radical acceptance. Um, and, in and, and acceptance is like this, this trust that it's a trust in who you are and your ability to handle whatever life is giving you. 
it's a trust in the God and it's trusting God and the God source within you that it's going to be able that it's here that it's present that it's eternally with you and it's always going to be able to give you what you need in every now moment you know it's a tr deep trust and then it and then it turns into a deep knowing um, but it also there's a few different components that kind of go into just this radical acceptance and all of this is not something to just think about it's something that just happens as you practice and like with a lot of things it's something that one can't just tell you it's something that you actually have to go through these experiences to develop this acceptance and this grit and this resilience and this remembrance this connection of who you really are and how how unshakable you really are because that's what the soul to me feels like the soul is so unshakable from anything in this world um so like the ego is is very shook <laughs> the ego is always shook and when you come into this acceptance it's i guess maybe another way of saying coming more into a soul led way of living where the soul can just devour and eat anything that arises you know without fear um and so that fear just sort of melts away that fear of the ego and it's all a natural process and i guess that's really what i'm trying to convey is just allowing it there's such a grace and intelligence in being able to allow and accept what is and it doesn't mean you don't act it doesn't mean you don't make choices it doesn't mean you don't move you do you absolutely do but i think you're that's the thing is like you're able to move and act and make choices in a much more conscious free state when you're practicing radical acceptance of what is and it is a practice so be graceful with yourself and in, in, in accepting even your struggle you know maybe it's hard for you to accept what is and accepting that you know maybe you don't like where you're at maybe you don't want to be here maybe you don't like this can you accept that instead of resisting it? It's like, no, 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 no. And because basically it's like, this is really the heart of the message, I think, is like we have, it's like we have to accept God back into our lives. And again, I don't say have to as in you have no free will. You don't literally have to. But if you want to have peace and calm and clarity in your being, you have to like, you have to let God back into your life. And God comes in through everything. God comes in, yes, through the joy, through the fun. That's the most, you know, um, you know, intuitive way, I guess. But God also comes in through the pain, through the wounds, through the confusion. When you don't know what to do, when you feel lost, when you feel stuck, when you don't have all the answers, that's when you ask God to come in. And that's why you have to be humble because you, you should ask, you know, ask and you shall receive. Because the more you ask, the more you allow, and the more that energy can come in instead of this stubborn ego that just wants to have control and wants to have all the answers and wants to figure everything out. The things that we're coming up against is beyond the ego. It's so beyond the ego. The ego will literally just go in circles over this stuff, and you'll wonder why. You know, you have to let God in. You have to ask God to come in. Ask every single day that's that would be my counsel because that's what i do and that's what i've always done and i think it's not that you miss it's it's because when you ask it's just a greater receiving it's a greater allowing it's a greater opening um for that higher energy to come in you know and when you ask you know you 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 have that's part of the acceptance and the allowance is is this openness to receive you know, in this hyper do, 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 do programming where it's always something, it's always a distraction, it's always fill the space with some kind of junk. What we're, a lot of us are being asked now is to, to get rid of the junk and to do that. It's a new kind of way of being. There's an openness, there's a receptivity to that. You know, it's kind of maybe more of that feminine principle that's been sort of murky for a long time because it's like, at least here it seems like it's always do, 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 give, 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 boom, 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 boom. You know, and, and sometimes you need that space to actually receive what God is trying to give you, you know, and realize that you don't have all the answers. You're not in control of everything and you don't need to be and you don't want to be. Frankly, it's much a much more free life when you start having this acceptance and stop trying to control everything 
and you really let God in to your heart, into your body, into your mind, into your soul, you really, whatever that means to you, because the answers will come, the intuition will come, the guidance will come, all of this stuff is meant to come. So I see that a lot, you know, with the emotions. And I know I talk about this a lot, but I just think it's one of the most important things is for people to learn how to manage their emotions. And when I say manage your emotions, I don't mean you control your emotions. I don't mean it's not um, it's not like you lock up your emotions and you control everything. It's more like you let yourself feel everything fully. You give yourself the permission to, to feel. You know how to feel your feelings without repressing them or denying them. And you also know how to bring yourself back to a neutral state. I think there's sometimes a confusion on that because people think that they need to bring themselves to this high positive vibe all the time. And that's great, but it's... I would venture to say that it's nearly impossible in most cases to like jump from a negative state to a positive state. And it's not necessary. You don't have to do that. It's more just learning how to bring yourself back to neutral. That's your center. Back to just this place of no fear. That's it. Just this place of no fear. This neutral place. And... um so there's lots of different ways you can learn how to do that and, and maybe I'll talk more about that in the future videos or meditations but just learning how to somatically which is another way of saying physically in your body process your emotions I don't think people understand how important this really is to have the awareness of what you're feeling when it arises and how you respond to that feeling because the more you can feel it and flow with it and express it in a healthy flow way, life is going to be so much easier for you. And then know how to bring yourself back to neutral. Know how to bring yourself back to your center. And at that point, bringing yourself into a positive state is a lot easier from neutral. It happens naturally. All this stuff just happens naturally. But the thing is, this is a big thing I really want to share. Maybe people don't realize is like... If you're in a negative state, you one, you have to know you are and be honest with yourself. If you're angry or depressed or unsatisfied or frustrated or hopeless, whatever it is, um, you know, being aware of that, being honest with yourself. And instead of beating yourself up about it or trying to force all this stuff to happen in this state, because the thing is, is a lot of times I see when people are in those states, all they want to do is beat the drum to that emotion. And they wonder why they get stuck. It's because that emotion is, you're not letting that emotion be felt physically. So it's like, we don't want to feel it, so we avoid it. And then all this chaos happens around us that matches that emotion. I don't know. I just see that all the time. It's so apparent to me. Like, if I'm in a, if I'm in a negative mood and I'm conscious, I don't go out and try to, like change my life I, 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 I bring myself to neutral and then I go change my life you know and I think that's really powerful and I think that's really important in just understanding how energy works and you know how we're reflecting everything back to us but anyways um, another thing I want to say too if you are feeling hopeless a really solid piece of advice I'd like to offer you is when you're feeling hopeless or despair these are some of the bottom totem pole emotions that are very, very heavy. And one, allow yourself to feel them fully. Because when you, when, you, when you go to a place where you can just be still and close your eyes and feel it fully and crank that emotion up to 110 and just feel it, you'll notice it'll pass in like a few minutes. It really will. It'll, your body will process it in just a few minutes if you let it. Um... And you don't want to bypass that because you really want to get these emotions out. You don't want these emotions stuck in you because it's not the emotion that's the enemy. But if the emotion is stuck in you, then that emotion can be used against you. When, when you're no longer afraid of your feelings, no matter how scary they may feel in your body, you, you're no longer controlled. When you're no longer afraid to feel the fear, to feel the shame, who cares? Bring it on. It's just a feeling. You know how to feel it. It's not going to control you anymore when you know how to feel your feelings. 
and come back to neutral. Um, but if you are feeling hopeless or despair, these really shameful bottom totem pole feelings, do you ever say there's like a, an emotional scale and above that is actually anger? So that's something that, you know, if you're ever stuck in like emo- in those like really hopeless feelings, if you can just bring yourself into anger, that's actually a way you can start to get out of that negative spiral, you know, just this, it's like, it sounds weird, but anger, you know, that's actually a way, you, you know, you can start getting angry and let yourself feel that anger and, and again, like feel the feeling. This is a journey for all of us is to learn how to use our feelings and not be used by them, like feel the feeling. Don't let it um, control you, but feel it. And then again, you know, you'll know when when you're ready to bring yourself back to neutral. And when you bring yourself back to a neutral state, back to just peace, calm, zero point, again, it's going to be a lot easier to go into joy or bliss or love or whatever that is that, you know, going into these higher states where you, you you can be these very high frequency states. But all you have to be is neutral to be magnetic, to be fearless, to be back in your um, power, really. That's my experience. Takes a lot of the pressure off, and it really is the truth. You just have to be neutral. You don't have to be this crazy high vibe all the time. So I think that's mainly the things I want to share. I think if you don't start learning how to manage your emotions, and again, manage in this healthy way I'm speaking of, not in this, oh, I control, I don't feel anything emotions, but, but learning how to feel them and express them somatically through your body and come back to neutral and and create um there's going to be a you're going to be really spiraling a lot i think because everything is just getting more kind of intense and a lot of chaos and there's so much chaos in the collective already um so it's really important i think being able to have these tools to be able to to be sort of that calm in the storm when it happens Um, Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, 